This is London Tonight with Faye Barker. Good evening. It's a chance every year to remember those who gave their lives for their country. Remembrance Sunday is very much a part of the British calendar and services are held right across the UK, the largest of which is right here in the capital. Well, now organisers of that annual service at St Paul's Cathedral may be forced to cancel it this year because of the continuing anti-capitalist protest outside the London landmark. Our correspondent Simon Harris reports. We're not going anywhere. We will stay here forever. The anti-capitalist campers are refusing to budge. The doors to St Paul's are staying firmly shut. But three weeks from now, one of the most important events in the cathedral's calendar is due to take place, the annual Remembrance Sunday service. It's tremendously important that the Remembrance Sunday uh, event takes place, of course. While these protesters are out here, they're forgetting it's the people who died and who we celebrate on Remembrance Sunday that gave them the right to protest. As the iconic symbol of London's defiance during the Blitz, there's a special meaning to Remembrance Day at St Paul's. Blitz veteran Marjorie Foyle is horrified it might be cancelled. I feel that, that is absolutely dreadful. I, I cried before God about it yesterday and I'm praying all, all the time that God will enable uh, his cathedral to do his work. But I don't think any group, however strong their case is, has the right to, uh, to completely uh, block off a large place like St Paul's. But how serious is the threat to Remembrance Sunday? The protest groups insist there's no desire to dishonour Britain's war dead. I would severely doubt that anybody here would like to do that. There are actually many Christians, many people of different faiths within, within our camp, so, you know, that is, would never be an intention of uh, what we do, would like to do. Are you prepared to move to let Remembrance Day happen? I can't personally talk on behalf of the space here, but of course Remembrance Day should go ahead. The cathedral claims it's been forced to close because of health and safety concerns. While the protest camp does occupy part of the forecourt in front of St Paul's, access to the front doors up the main steps is largely unobstructed and that's led to some protesters questioning the cathedral's decision to shut up shop. They point to a fire exit which is now clear of tents. Everything that uh, was asked of us as occupiers to fulfil um, with regard to health and safety and fire regulations was done. The closure of the cathedral is said to be costing thousands of pounds a day and it's led to a frustrating experience for a stream of bemused visitors. Well, the people are terribly disappointed, of course. It was one of the highlights of this tour this afternoon and it's not possible, you know, to go in, but what can you do? <laughs> so, was the closure an overreaction? The cathedral authorities have so far refused to comment. Simon Harris, London Tonight, St Paul's. So what do you think? Do the protesters have a right to be there to demonstrate peacefully on any day of the year, including Remembrance Sunday? Or should they really take down their tents on such an important day? Well, do email us your thoughts to londontonight at itvlondon.com and we'll include as many as we can at the end of the programme. Don't forget, we're also on Twitter. You can tweet us your message, followed by at London Tonight, or text us, starting with the word London. The number is 63332. Text cost 25 pence plus one standard network rate message. We'll need all of them by 6.25 this evening, please. Now, a man who managed to con a community that he was aware...